Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising, a weekly tarot reading, October 28th to November 3rd, a 2019. And let's see, guys, what the cards are holding for us in regards to this week. Just let me shuffle them. And uh, we are going to get right into it. All right, so first card. Wow, we are on to on to and an explosive start here with the page of with the Ace of Pentacles. Excuse me, I get a little bit excited every time I when I see that card as a primal topic, especially if something concerns me, I get excited here. Uh, we do have the Ace of Pentacles as a topic, followed by the challenges of the Knight of Swords. Then it is the positive aspect here of the Four of Cups and the last one, which is the guidance for a Scorpio that is to be the Hierophant card. It's a pretty trivial situation that we do have on our hands throughout the week, guys. And uh, let's start with the first one, which is the page, uh, the Ace of Pentacles. It's catalyzed by the Ten of Wands. So we do have an, an a passive neutrals here and it does speaks for some sort of a, a liberty, liberation, detachment of a um, of a hard way how we do things. OK, so what what literally is going to happen throughout the week it is that we are to find a way of to push further our goal. It's kind of like a rare opportunity to push further our goal, right? Not that we well, I don't know how to describe it. a new way how to push our goal. So we are pushing it up until this moment, okay? But it kind of takes a toll. It, it takes a big toll on ourselves. And now we, throughout the week of a October 28th to November 3rd, we do find any either new means or a new way of performance how to push our goal forward, which is going to give us a, a huge... Um, kind of like a, a flow of content exhilaration, glee, ecstasy for some of us as well. Uh, it will kind of predispose our relationship to flow in harmony and as well, it kind of dictates success into one's a business endeavors. And um, the good thing about that, it is that it's not going to dictate that we have to take on more responsibilities. Just on the contrary, you know, we can drop off a certain uh, responsibilities. And as we speak that we have to drop off certain resp responsibilities, these responsibilities are going to be dropped off toward this person here. The very challenge, the, the Knight of Swords, which, oh my God, look at that, which is accompanied by the Page of Swords. So that is a, um, a warmonger. A, a warmonger in the sense of that they are kind of very pushy, very bruising and very demanding as well. Not to mention that these people are usually liars. 
when it comes to uh, when it comes to this combination liars in the sense of that they are very good at presenting fictions as facts so for example if you are dating someone maybe you should put a second guess into one that it's into what that person is telling you um, um well liars i don't know if you can classify that as a lie uh because uh, say that they are not lying but they are not saying everything you need to know all right it's kind of like they make like you they're saying everything you need to know but are withholding an information for reason being is that this information that you need to know but this person isn't divulging is going to kind of like a uh, disrupt the emotional flow that is going in between you two you know the good friendship the, the good co-worker relationship or the dating period that you may have throughout the week and um uh, it's kind of like that person here, the Knight of Swords, took a, a decision to have things their way. And their way, it doesn't look like that it is your way. And I hope that you, uh, we, me included, kind of understand it as soon as possible, sooner than later. Because uh, otherwise, uh, it's, uh, this thing is going to produce unnecessary wrangles and arguments. There will be no one there to benefit from anything. They, it doesn't matter if uh, you win the argument or this person, King Knight of Swords, kind of wins the argument. Um, this argument, well, this triumph in argument is not going to produce any results it's not going to give us any yield and at the end of the day we both are going to feel bad about it so that kind of a responsibility we need to detach from the responsibility to feel obliged toward the um, <clears throat> knight of swords person to do what they say simply or to follow them in whatever agenda they do have because up until this moment we kind of felt that they are a substantial path into our progress moving forward either regarding career or either regarding relationship and now as we are finding the new way you know to push our things uh, our things through our goal through um, it's certainly these this person here the knight of swords becomes obsolete we don't we no longer need them all right and we have to simply let them go so positive aspect is going to be the four of cups and it is accompanied with the nine of pentacles <clears throat> and on a positive end uh, we're going to show a, a very strong uh, uh, mental abilities and their mental abilities i mean a a very solid logic um not allowing our emotions to dictate um our decisions and for that reason seeing this opportunity also or, or seeing this new way how we can perform although we may not kind of feel good about have to let go of the knights of swords because up until this moment we we thought that they are our substantial thing no longer you know uh, this it doesn't look like that this is going to deprive us from or rather like obstruct us in a severe way to do what it is necessary here to kind of like grasp upon the new concepts or to the new agenda or to the new way of how we are to start doing things here with the four of cups. We no longer are going to look toward the past here or toward the current means but rather we are going to take the new means that the cloud is offering to us as a cup and uh, while this thing could um, kind of provoke a little bit of a poignant emotions within us these poignant emo emotions are not going to dwell within us for a, a long long time not to mention that the catalyst is very good here uh, showing that as soon as we kind of achieve this liberation from uh, these old concepts uh, there will be a significant leap into our career um, endeavors um, that being said if this thing it is it regards to our career endeavors or a, a significant conquests when it comes to a relationships and uh, the last card that we do have scorpio is going to be the hierophant and that is the guidance and it is accompanied here by the um, judgment so passive neutrals passive neutral so uh, for one 
uh, these couple of cards are uh, divulging about a, a freedom of choosing. That uh, there are more than one ways how one can take on something. And it is important here to find our way. Okay, not the way that uh, it is, how can I say it? Not the way that it is dictated by this person or by that person or by the trivial understanding, you know, of how one thing can be done. But rather we need to find a way that we feel fulfilled of how we have to do things, you know, either regarding to our business. That could be, you know, a, a mismatching into a, a vision of a business with your business partner. And here you need to put a stop into it and kind of keep on pushing on your own instead of having a business partner. It could be a, a significant difference in between, you know, a vision of your current tutor. And so you need to let it go. But because you we we do have that opportunity to further our goal that means that new suitor is to come up very very soon all right or a a new business partner is to come very very soon as well um, so we are not going to be left in the dark alone that is my point here and um, as a guidance here uh, it's kind of pointed that if one thing doesn't just want to work out it's will not gonna work out. There is no point trying to fix something that it is broken. There is no point trying to um, push up a something that is simply not meant to work into our environment. And for that reason, we have to be resigned. We need to uh, kind of look into the frame, into the current framework, instead of looking uh, for the reason outside of the framework into this. Um, uh, into our life or into this situation, you know, just to give you an example for it, you date with someone, but you don't experience anything with it. So look into the framework. You don't experience anything toward that person. So you need to let it go. You don't have to look for a reason that, well, I'm not experiencing anything toward that person because I recently had a breakup. You're not experiencing anything toward that person because that person doesn't attract you. That's the framework of the situation. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly or our weekly tarot reading, October 28th to November 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.